Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about vitiligo. This is the loss of that pigment on the skin and those little white specks that you can have anywhere on the body, on the face, on the hands. They can be very embarrassing because they're on your skin and it's hard to hide it. Uh, so let's talk about what this is and what you can do about it. Um, again, this is for your research. It's not a, a means of an instant cure, but it may help you greatly. In fact, it might get rid of the problem, but we have to understand what the problem is. So skin color comes from melanin, which is controlled by melanocytes, which are cells that control how much or how little uh, this substance is in the skin. And so what happens, you have this autoimmune situation. An autoimmune situation is where your own immune system, the white blood cells, attack your cells. So it's a self-attack um, where the immune system is overwhelmed. So that's really what destroys the cells, and then you have this loss of pigment, okay? So what triggers this condition is stressful events, especially emotional stress. Uh, a lot of clients who came to see me over the years uh, and they had this condition, one for one, they went through some emotional stress, some severe losses, and they usually had poor adrenals because the adrenal gland is also involved in the immune system. And that's why a condition called Addison's, which is low adrenal, um, has one of the symptoms being vitiligo, and sometimes even the darkening of the skin as well. So the adrenals are involved, and that's why one of the remedies would be also prednisone or cortisol, uh, cortisone on the skin, which I don't recommend. Glutathione is one of the most powerful cell protectors. It protects the cell against stress. And so the strategy here is not to kill something off, it's to strengthen the immune system, okay? So how do you do that? You're gonna add glutathione as a supplement. You're also going to add NAC. NAC works with glutathione and these two together work really good for uh, a loss of immunity, especially if you've taken steroids and all of a sudden they don't work anymore, uh, prednisone, that type of thing. And selenium is kind of a precursor for glutathione, so I recommend that as well. Green juices, um, any type of green juice powder is very, very beneficial for the skin. Lots of sun, so you can get vitamin D. Vitamin D is healing for the skin. And last but not least, low stress. You have to change uh, your environment. You have to get rid of the actual the trigger that instigated this in the first place. All right? Thanks for watching.